Good morning and uh, welcome to the 2017 MAPS Corps Scientific Symposium. Our intrepid teams of mappers have not only been gathering phenomenal data, they have been reflecting on the data they have gathered and what it means for the communities that they are trying to better. We had 150 high school students and college students who reported on their work and their scientific uh, community-based research projects. This summer I worked with MAPS Corps as a field mapper. So basically they gave us a Samsung phone and they had us go out in the Bronzeville community and map the assets of the community. We map businesses in the community and we put them into a database for people in the community to use. As mappers, like we are like the kids that are living in the community and we're like from these communities and we have experience in these communities. So it's just a good that we're out here, you know, firsthand like trying to and build up our community and find out the problems in the community and try to make them better. Finally, we created a seven question survey where we, where we went out on the streets and interviewed 57 people in total. 40% were men, 60% were female. Some of the questions consisted of, on a scale of one to 10, how difficult is it getting to your local grocery store? We want to uh, train high school students and college students to collect high quality data about community assets. We think that community assets help uh, community stakeholders um, develop programs and policies that improve the health uh, and the vitality of underserved communities on the west and south side. Thank you all for the hard work, especially the young people, that allows us to come together today to learn what we need to know about the assets of our communities and the data about uh, these businesses and organizations that are going to be put to use to make people's lives better. I want to come back to be a nurse in Chicago. So mapping out Chicago for the most part is a way of helping me educate the people that I might soon have to be a doctor to or a nurse to. It's a potential job opportunity in the future, whereas like, well since I'm going to college I can be a field coordinator next year if I wanted to. What I learned from this experience is uh, a way to like speak my mind because usually I'm a little timid and shy. So when we had to go out there to survey people, I actually had to be like, hey, how you doing? Wanted to take a survey and usually I would not do that in my own comfort zone. We would not have as valuable information about resources that are available in the community without the partnership that we have with you, without this existing informatics initiative that you are all doing right now. I think events like this is important because it's getting more exposure. It's telling people what we're doing to change the community. It's telling people we are trying to get the youth to do more in the community and be more a part of it.